And I think that ending in season four is the right thing. I think that they've kind of like come to the conclusion of this question that the show has been asking. You know, the show is like, what will these kids do? And what will Logan do to either protect or to get his kingdom? And I just think that if they made this a six, seven season show and it was just like, oh, Roman blew up another satellite, you know, like it could be, I, I, I've, I've thought about this. It could be Veep. You could just do this show forever. You could bring new people in. You could, there Every year there could be a, a new villain or whatever. But like, I think if in a dramatic terms, this is the right p- time for it to end. Yeah, it's not going to end up like Lost. Where Lost, I would say, is up there for me mm-hmm. because it was so fucking cool. It was different. Uh, it was huge. And then, you know, depending on what you believe on the research of, of like how it mapped out or, and you can probably correct me on this, but it was like, hey, can you throw another season in there? <laughs> Just yeah. this thing's crushing. And then it's like, oh, and then it gets a little weird and then it kind of comes back and it figures it out. It's just so hard to do this. It's so hard to go, hey, here's the idea for the show. And then here's my five seasons and here's why they all make sense. And here's an ending that wraps it all up. But like the standard for where this one is, like not to use the Mount Rushmore thing, but the ending could put this right up there with those other shows for me. Yeah, I mean, and so not to not to give away. I mean, I don't know if there are people listening to this segment who haven't watched the third season, but I think one of the weird things that happened last season was when it was suggested that Kendall might be dead for essentially a week (laughs) in between those two episodes. I was like, this would be the bravest thing the show could possibly do. Is is it's not that every dramatic storyline needs to end in a death for it to be significant, but I thought that this guy actually finally getting chewed up and spit out by this world would have been such a profound way to like kind of talk about what this family is and what this father did to his kids and what this how they processed it. And then they kind of just dialed it back five five points and they were like, no, 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 he, he's fine and he's back and now he's going to go for the company again and then we're going to run it all back. And so I think that any any more moments like that where they would take it up to the edge of sort of oh, this is actually real. This this is actually significant. Like something terrible happened and then pull it back from the edge. I don't I don't think you can do that very many times and not lose the trust of the viewer. Um, but I think that I think that at its best and, and right. on a week just, to week just basis, to interrupt, yeah. then it becomes like gold rush where it's like, oh my God, they have to stop sluicing. It's like, <laughs> oh, they fixed it. <laughs> you know? Yeah. Like every, every one of those shows that has any mechanical stuff, it's like, oh, we're going to break. Could be a flood. And like, yeah. No, they figured it. They, they were able to get the excavator across. Um, so sorry, I interrupted you, but you're right. Like, I like what you're saying about if you can't keep playing that fucking note over and over and over again. Yeah. I mean, I, d- I just saw the um, the new Scream movie and I, I really enjoy those films, but like they've now gotten to the point where uh, being stabbed in the stomach is not fatal, you know, like because they just keep and they'll just be like, no, no, we got a faint pulse. They're OK. And I don't want that to happen to succession, you know. What do you want it to be? What do you want the end to be? I'm sure you've thought. Have you and Andy talked about? Because I mean, with him running a show. Yeah, yeah, we've talked a little bit about it. I, I don't have a, a clubhouse favorite in this. I, I, I think that there are some very funny outcomes, like Connor or Greg winding up running the company. Um, I think it needs to end where it began, which is this guy dying. You know, uh, essentially. You know, I, th- I think that this has been watching this guy decay over the course of the last few seasons and refusing to give up power. And I think that that's probably where it's going to go if I had to guess. I'm wondering if Shiv's going to (laughs) win. You You pulling for it? I I could do this with any of the characters. Um, I mean, Kendall never gets this. No. It doesn't work out for the Kendalls, right? No. So then Roman would be the wheel wild card um connor would be it would feel like it was flat but like you could argue that shiv is more deserving and the most fucked with even more so than kendall sure because kendall is probably still the one logan would like it to work out with even though he knows it can't but shiv gets teased i think more than kendall does or at least she gets teased in a way where it actually feels like oh i'm not doing anything like i'm not doing the things that kendall's doing so I'm more deserving of it. Uh, and maybe the, maybe the end is that it's none of those endings. That they said, hey, we're ending it four seasons in. We're not going to eight seasons where it's the same jokes and the same stuff. Even though I could watch them talk without the story going anywhere. There's not many shows that I could sit and be like, I just want to watch them talk to each other. 
because Tom is awesome. Cousin Greg is so awesome. Like the the way they wrote that dinner scene too, and you're just like, God, my God, this is this is like really next level stuff. Um, that maybe because we're all holding to the standards, like you're really really nervous. But it's we've said all the time, like one of the reasons I like the wires, they didn't try to come up with some complicated ending. They were like, the whole point is this is never going to stop. Yeah, and it's just a cycle, and it's going to go over and over and over again. And it was the right ending. It was the perfect ending for it because it wasn't trying to be some dramatic ending. This one, I don't think can get away with something like, ah, you know, shit's difficult, man. I don't think we can get that from this. No, show. I mean, I, I think that there's a joke ending of like something like Jerry becoming the head, head of the company or like, see, they, they destroyed themselves. But this is one of those unique shows. I'm trying to think of another one like this where you watch it on a week to week basis for the comedy, but it's important because of the drama. Like, the, like you're saying, you could just watch these people talk for five more seasons, but you can't watch them almost get to the precipice of toppling this guy and then falling back five steps for five more seasons. I think that that would be a repetitive experience after a while and would diminish what it did. I'm rooting for Tom. I'm rooting for Tom. Uh, I think he's... Certainly threw his, threw his hat in the ring. So, yeah, I think that there's definitely... there. That's a possibility. Yeah, all right. Uh, that's Chris Ryan. You can hear him talk more extensively uh, with Andy on The Watch twice a week. And again, that Rewatchables out with Bill all the time. Uh, thanks for the time. Thanks, man. 